A highly volatile week is coming to an end. Still, stock investors are braced for more turbulence tonight. Today, Wall Street is sensitive to a few factors. The main culprit of a concern is rising yields of U.S. Treasuries. It was the catalyst for a notable decline in the benchmark stock indexes on Thursday. This factor outwined the market response to inflation data. And today, Wall Street may find support from top American banks, as they are opening the season of corporate reports. Despite the mixed intraday dynamic of the major stock indexes, they closed in the red. The S&P 500 shed 72 points or 0.62 percent to close at 4,349 points. Wall Street indexes are poised to trade in the green on the final day of the week, and the S&P 500 is expected to trade in the intraday corridor between 4,330 and 4,410 points. The inflation data in the U.S. revealed faster than expected consumer inflation in September. Still, the CPI did not come as a bombshell, rising spending on a home rent encouraged acceleration in a consumer prices last month. An annual rate of the core CPI, excluding volatile food and energy prices, was the lowest in the last two years. Futures on the major stock indexes traded mixed in the New York pre-market. They went upward in sync before the opening bell because investors were absorbing earnings of the major U.S. banks. Top-ranked U.S. banks opened the season of the corporate reports. They unveiled results inspired investors. J.P. Morgan Chase, Wells Fargo, Wells uh, and Citigroup reported a surge in their profits in the third quarter because higher interest rates pumped up revenue from loans. Energy is another sector that may support Wall Street. Stocks of ExxonMobil, Chevron and Occidental Petroleum grew following an intraday rally of almost 4% in the oil market. Tightening rules on developing artificial intelligence, microchips and chip-making equipment to China is taking center stage today. Media reported that Biden's administration is exploring the options of a closing loopholes which five Chinese companies access to the US-made artificial intelligence chips through overseas branches. On a Friday, yields of US Treasuries are wavering between dips and rises. Investors are anticipating comments by Philadelphia Fed President Patrick Harker tonight. As for the economic calendar, the University of Michigan is due to present its preliminary consumer sentiment index for October. According to the FedWatch tool by CME, the market estimates the chances of the Fed keeping interest rates unchanged in November and December at 92% and 69% respectively. The currency market is trading sluggishly. Major currency pairs are taking a breather following the US dollar's rally yesterday. Its index retraced from its highs to trade at 106 and a half. The instrument is likely to trade in the intraday corridor between 106 and 20 and 106 and 80. The US dollar maintained its peaks today after a stunning intraday rally on a Thursday. Its index climbed by 0.8% yesterday and the biggest intraday spike since March 15. The greenback owes its strength to the red hot inflation data, which was stronger than expected. The stubborn inflation revived the prospects that the Federal Reserve might have to raise interest rates once again to bring inflation down to the target level of 2%. 
The Canadian dollar is determined to regain some of its losses on the final trading day. The USD cut pair traded at about 1.3670 before the opening bell, 0.14% down. The intraday carrier for the instrument is seen between 1.3650 and 1.3700. The loony managed to recap its losses on the back of an intraday spike in oil prices, and we told you about it uh, on uh, our previous videos. The crypto market clicked off into a year today. Popular crypto assets opened the New York trade mainly in the green. Bitcoin grew by 0.14% to trade at $26,850, and the token is expected to trade in the intraday carrier between $26,650 and $27,000. The price may dip to $26,400 and lower to $26,200 or rebound to $28,000. Today the crypto market will find out the truth. Grayscale Investments scored a significant legal victory on August 29, when the district court ruled in their favor, allowing them to convert the Bitcoin trust into an ETF. The court ruled that the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission uh, bitterly uh, and um, capriciously rejected the proposal. The commission was given 45 days to file an appeal, and the deadline is midnight October 13th. If the commission decides not to appeal, it would be equivalent to approval potentially paving the way for the creation of the first spot Bitcoin ETF in the United States. Keep close tabs on financial markets on the InstaForex TV channel. We hope that our video will help you make well-rounded trading decisions. See you next week.